Hey guys, welcome back to Stranded Deep and in today's video we are gonna talk about the watch and specifically we're gonna talk about this page over here. So yes, I am really late with this video, that's why I got myself a watch to remind me I gotta do this video. So the reason why I'm doing it is, is I just think that sometimes these symbols over here is a little bit unclear of what means what and etc and etc. So I'm gonna go over them, I'm not gonna really worry about the rest, you guys should probably have figured it out out now so we're gonna move to the first one we have got hunting cooking harvesting physical and crafting so let's go to our first one so for hunting the higher your level is it means the less shots you will take to kill your food for the night please don't break anything there we go so obviously if you're gonna be a level one you might for example this is not exact you might need 10 or 15 spears, but the higher level you are, wow, this thing is strong, the less spears you gotta use to kill them. Moving over to the cooking part, which is the second one. Whenever you go and you start cooking, the higher level you are, the quicker, <laughs> I just picked it up, the quicker it should cook. Oh yeah, I gotta start this up as well. Okay, I don't, oh gosh, hold up. There we go, one, two, three, four, that fire is full, we can go ahead and start it up, yeah. So, whenever you're a higher level, the quicker the meat will cook. So also, there is another thing that has been bugging me a little bit, and I can't find any research regarding it, but maybe you guys can help me out with your personal opinion. So let's say I'm a level 1 cook, and I go and cook myself a small seagull meat, or whatever small meat, so technically when I eat it after it's cooked, who knows, maybe it will give me two of these squares or even one of these uh, food squares. But let's say for example I'm a I'm level, what am I now, one, two, three, four, five, going to level six and I eat a small seagull meat. Who knows, it might give us even more hunger, well it might deplete more of our hunger. So I don't know, what is your opinions guys? Oh, I just leveled up for cooking? Heck yeah! So now for the harvesting one. And harvesting is not pointed out to any of these. Technically what harvesting is, is when you grab an axe and you start chopping down all these trees and try to gather resources. So the higher level you are, meaning that the faster you'll break down this tree. Or maybe the little bit more of yucca fibers leaves you'll get. For example, I used to get about 4 or 5 in the beginning and now I get about 6. So that is definitely one of the reasons why you want your harvesting to be up as high as possible. And you can technically rank this up when you cut down trees, rocks, clay, scrap and wood and more. So let's move over to the next one which is physical. So right there at the bottom you guys can see my stamina. So whenever my person is a low level physical, it means the quicker that stamina will run out. Oh where's my reeves? My reefs disappeared everyone. So the blue bar displaying there is my oxygen. The lower level physical I am, the quicker my oxygen bar is gonna run out. But obviously because I'm full, it's gonna take much longer. So being active, always running around, sprinting and swimming and holding your breath will definitely get your physical abilities up. So for the last and the final thing, it is crafting. I just pressed the wrong button. <laughs> so technically in this game, when you start out, you can just craft minor things such as you can craft a small house and etc. But you can't yet craft a gyrocopter or you can't craft a antidote. So whenever you get poisoned in the beginning of the game, you can only craft an antidote when you're level 3. I mean that is so dumb. But anyway, so yes. Technically, the higher craft uh, skill or level you are, the more stuff you can craft. For example, I'm full, meaning that I can craft anything that this game provides us with. So yes, guys, there we go. That's a quick rundown of everything you need to know about the watch, or well, the skill base of the watch. So if you, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a big like. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you would love to support the channel, hit the logo at the bottom right corner to subscribe. If you want to see a similar video, hit the icon on the left. If you want to see one of my most recent videos, hit the icon on the right. And I'll see all of your legends in my next video. But for now, peace out. Yeah, oh, oh crap.